So this is what the lake bottom looks like right now. Just flat. Yeah. And uh, Bill, you got your This is out here to see if any fishes are going to come. And Ben's all set up. Oh. Hi, Ben. Hey. <laughs> finally. Yeah, we're finally out here. Holy lifting. Here's Johnny's new sled. New to him. Pretty awesome. How you doing, Johnny? Just great. <laughs> He's using this fish binder. We're not fishing very deep today. Not right now, anyway. It's just the first set of holes. This is the maiden voyage with our new sleds, okay? So, you know, here's my new sled. New to me sled, which is very much like one I used to drive a few years ago. And, uh, yeah, I got it all set up here. I think we're all pack horses today. Is nicer than the old one? A little nicer than my older one. It's a step up for me. They're, they're both really awesome machines though. However, yeah. I really like it anyway. That one doesn't steer as good as the MXZ? Not even close. No, eh? But huh. it, does, it is what it is. I think because there's so much flotation on the skis that the carbides aren't grabbing. Okay. Okay, well, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. Uh, we're going to try our best to catch a fish. We might even move on to another spot. We're not sure yet. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, so we're out on the ice and uh, we're fishing. And we just got to where we're at, and this is my setup. Of course, that's my hole. I'm uh, using one of my famously designed fishing sticks. The Simco stick. And uh, I have a bad boys on it at the moment, but I've just got set up here nicely and got the windbreak up. Sorry about the wind, it's going to be a little bit of an issue, but... Um, Got everything here to the ready. Got my grippers in case I get a big trout. My great big pliers. Ben's over there. Hi, Ben! Hi, everybody. <laughs> He's going to catch the first fish, I think. John's over here setting up his. Uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll be over to see you doing John setting up your fish finder that's awesome you cleaned all the snow out of here yeah. if I get cold I just put flop the tent down yeah it's a little cozy it's nice to have this pad under your feet too eh yeah keeps it from being slippery. It's anti-slip. That's quite a riggins you got for the aqua view. That's not the aqua view, that's uh, the hummingbird. The hummingbird, oh okay. That's a really neat apparatus you got in there. I have to drill another hole if I want the aqua view. Right, right. Oh, anyway. It's a beautiful day out. Gorgeous day to be out here. Yep. Hi, John. Hi, Chrissy. <laughs> Hi, outdoorsy girl. Oh. <laughs> hey, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. It's it's John and my anniversary today, and we're out fishing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so this is what the bottom looks like. There's Ben's lure. bit of a glare going on here. There we go. That's well, If I was a fish, that would look interesting to me. Exactly. What is that? 
Oh, some kind of a... Tube jig or a swim bait? No, it's a grub thing. Oh, a grub thing. I've caught a whitefish on them before. Yeah. Well, it looks like a sandy bottom with zebra mussels on yeah. pebbles or something. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And you did see a couple fish go by. On the fish finder. This is where the aqua view is. They made this little bit of a, a bank. Just because the wind kept blowing through and freezing my hole. So uh, I didn't want it clinging to my sled because that would have been not good. So yeah, it continues to freeze up. That's how cold it is. Got to keep cleaning my hole. Huh. But me, of course, I'm, uh, I got my coat off because of the sun. I mean, it's a nice little toasty little area, this wind break that we've got built here. I'll show you how my husband built it. Okay, I put mine a little bit goofy up here, but uh, basically this piece of wood that's on the top, it is on a hinge. Well, not a hinge, but a, a bolt, a carriage bolt or something. And uh, it just flops down and then you just roll up this whole thing. Kind of interesting, but uh, it works really well. And it's easy to carry onto the ice. That crossbar, yeah, that's what you'd call that. But, uh, you know, you just get a layer, a strip of wood and uh, affix the tarp to the wood. And you just have to roll it up and um, bank it, affix it to your sled with uh, bungee cords, and you're good to go. Except if it starts snowing. That's about it for it, for now. Hopefully somebody gets a fish soon. It's really cold out. See my breath? <laughs> anyway, catch up with you in a bit. What's going on here? That's interesting. I think that's all the stuff uh, ah. off the bottom. Oh, sorry, I almost fell. <laughs> coming up. I think that's all the stuff rattled off the bottom. Oh. So it's going like this. Can you fix the bottom of your thing? Yeah, I got it. Okay. That's what you do with that. I have to catch a fish. Okay. See what happens. Ben's working on something over there. Got the camera on. It's a trout. Oh, it's a whitey. Da -da -da -da. It's a whitey. Whitey number one. Yeehaw! Yay! Right on. Well, don't throw them back. Well, I guess we'll keep this one. Yeah, we're gonna keep that one. We want fish uh, for supper. Hello. Okay. Second. <laughs> there you go, Ben. Hey, okay, just second now. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna show you guys what I used. I used the bad boy Gobi Glow to get that white fish. That's over there. And we're gonna be eating the white fish. It's not very often we get out here, so when we do, we'd like to catch a meal. So anyway, that's that's what the Gobi Glow looks like. And uh Thanks Lou. They work really good. Okay, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Oh, Johnny's got one. Very good. Nice one. Yeah. That's Ben's turn now, eh, Ben? It's your turn, Ben. What are you using? Bad boys. Go be glow. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. <laughs> 
Look at that there, weighty, eh? Wow. Pretty awesome. Jesus, quit about that.